Hi all, my name is Dan Gray and I wrote a prog program called APM Log Visualizer. Uh, you can see my computer screen here and here's a very nice log because I crashed my copter and uh, I have a wonderful record of it. Um, so this is the program, it's version 1.32 and uh, I've demonstrated this before but I'll demonstrate it again. You can drag the slider around and you see right here is the altitude and you see over in this area is uh, the three views of the copter which would be roll pitch and yaw and then in this area you see the path that the copter took. I'm going to go ahead and play and I'm going to speed it up because I'm bored there we go and you can see the little guy is running around you can see the altitude is changing you see all the numbers here are changing so that was the first run and let me sp grab this and speed it up over here past the second run and I'll start in on the third run okay there's the third run and there we have it I'm going to slow down okay a little faster and you'll see see that little red area right there that's where it went not because of me but it went to um, stabilize mode just for an instant and then went back to auto not sure why that happened I'm not sure if it's a radio problem but it made my um, copter crash because it reset the integral and the nav throttle which I can show you, easily show you why so we're going to first click on this mode uh, current mode right now it's showing stabilize and um, I'm going to go ahead and expand this graph so we can see it real easily. And you can see here it starts out in stabilize. Right here it goes to the low eater mode, back to stabilize mode, into the low eater mode, stabilize mode. There's a very short auto and something went wrong so I went back to stabilize and then I started this was the first auto run this is the second auto run and this is the last auto run so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this area right here and now you'll see two glitches so here's one gl glitch one where it went to stabilize for a very short time here's the second glitch and it went to stabilize and this is where it crashed so I'm going to zoom back out. We're going to put a couple more numbers on here. I'm going to put uh, the throttle. I'm going to put the mix altitude so we can see it crash nicely. And I'm going to put the nav throttle on there. Okay, so we have several things on here. First thing I want you to notice is over here the nav throttle is higher to keep level flight than it is here. The nav throttle is the cyan color. This is about, I'd say about 100 and 108 or 110 average. Over here it's more like 200. And the last run it's even higher. Now I don't know why that, why it, the nav throttle takes different values to keep it in the air, but that's what made my copter crash. I'm going to just show you the amps and the volts so you can see so this little one right here, this, this little cyan color, is uh, uh, the volts. And you can see it's dropping down as time goes by, which it should. But it never got too low until, at, until during the crash when it drew a lot of current. <laughs> and let's get rid of some of these others here. Get rid of the throttle for now. Get rid of the mix altitude get rid of the nav throttle. We, we can see a great big spike. Let's look, zoom in on this area where the problem occurred. Big spike in the current and the voltage went clear down to 10.3 volts just momentarily during that spike. And you can see the crash. Let me put that on there. Zoom in again. So here's it fell and once it hit the ground it was still in auto and it was still trying to fly and the currents went way up because I broke three propellers and um, uh, yeah it took a so this little glitch right here in the mode happened 
maybe because of radio interference, although there's nothing in the T log that would indicate that. Um, I don't know why that happened. But because the nav throttle was so low, it fell out of the sky. So let's zoom back out. Get rid of amps. Get rid of volts. <coughs> we, we want the mode and the mix altitude up there. We're going to go ahead and put the throttle. We're going to go ahead and put the nav throttle again. And we're going to zoom in on this area again. So you can see the altitude is falling right there. You can see I'm trying to keep it in the air by pushing the throttle up, which doesn't do any good when it's in auto. You can see the nav throttle trying to increase, and it's integrating right here, but because it temporar temporarily went to the stabilized mode, the integral got set to zero, and it had to integrate back up in order to keep it in the air and it was only 20 meters and by the time that happened it was on the ground upside down as you can see from the little picture at the at the end of the thing if I go over here to the end you'll see that the copter is flipped but I'm wrong about that I thought there it is okay see the copter is upside down so the end of the log I must have been carrying it back here there upside down <laughs> okay so I showed you quite a few features a new feature in the uh, uh, version in this latest version 1.32 is as I slide this slider on the graph over here all these numbers change in fact even the little guy is running around if you look at all that stuff based on where you have this in the graph so you can see all parameters as you go by the graph which is really a great feature I thought of it because I needed it. And um, let's see, uh, what's another feature here? Okay, let's go ahead and um, play the log reverse. And play it backwards or forwards. Um, you can see the different modes as the different colors. The green is auto, red is stabilized, magenta is loiter. Other modes, I'm not breaking them out, is kind of brown. Uh, <coughs> Let's see what else can we show you. You can click on the graph anywhere you want. I'm going to click over here at the beginning where we're flying from, which would be right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Say yes. And you can see where this little green um, arrow is, is right where I clicked. And this is uh, Delta Park in Portland, Oregon. So I hope you enjoyed this. and. Uh, as you can see, it's a very useful tool, and uh, thanks for watching and listening. Take care.